Hey guys, Kurt Haas here from Hostile Youth Conditioning with Captain Smash. And today we're talking about myth number five in our series of youth conditioning myths that uh, keep seeming to come up and pop up and scare parents and just totally false bogus and we're here to set the record straight. Yeah. Number five, Jess. Um, one of the big concerns about um, youth weight training is the fact that your kid's going to get injured. Well, no, not really. The statistics actually show that Weightlifting injuries have never really been reported. They're probably about 2% overall of all reported cases in the gym. And generally, when that happens, it's because they're unsupervised and they're over on the bench press lifting way too much weight. Tom Foolery. So, you know, um, you know, unsupervision at an early age in the weight room, yes, it's going to be a disaster. Absolutely. However, most children, about 60% of all the reported cases, occur actually on the playing field from accidents, falls, and collisions, which can be prevented in a large part by proper training protocols. Because through the resistance training and building up the stamina, the conditioning, you're going to get stronger, you're going to be more resilient, and those chances of falling and injuring, slipping, getting an ankle injury or banging up your knee are gonna be much reduced because you're well trained for that type of activity. So basically, you're tougher. You're tougher, you're gonna be able to handle more shock, you're gonna be better prepared for it, you've got a better core, your body's maintaining its stability much better, stuff like that, so you're not all floppy and landing all weird and one leg's this way and one arm's gone that way. You have better control of your body when stuff happens and instinctively. When things happen, your body's able to prepare itself and stuff like that. So that's the big thing that's really important. And the other thing to remember too is that, you know, kids are gonna get hurt. We're all gonna get hurt doing things. The fitter you are and the tougher you are, the faster you recover from these things as well. We're gonna get pulls and aches and stuff like that because, we're, you know, there's, there's nothing without risk. Yeah. But the thing is, it's about diminishing as much risk as possible and that really comes into the preparation. Yes, exactly. And that's predominantly one of the main focuses of youth strength and conditioning training is we want to seek to prevent injuries. I mean, that's like rule number one. You never want to hurt somebody in the weight room. It's the goal of making them stronger and fitter and faster in order to prevent injuries out on the field. If you can, you know, sprint that much faster, if you can, you know, hit that much harder, if you can, you know, have the stability to change directions way faster than your opponent, you're going to be a lot better off. You're not going to get hit as often. You're not going to get hit as hard. Even if you do get hit, your body is going to be resilient enough to bounce back from that. And, you know, the guy's going to come at you and bounce off of you because you're so strong and resilient that you can maintain your core stability versus an untrained person that's not ready for that type of condition. They're going to hit you, get all discombobulated, then they're going to get an injury. They're not going to be strong enough to handle the rigors of the sport. And a lot of times it's not even, sorry, sorry to interrupt, but it's not even that the initial hit that a lot of the injury comes from, it's when they get hit and then they go flying and how they land and how their body's not prepared to handle that, right? Because all of a sudden they get hit, they don't have that integrity, so they're flying all around, you know, and, and their body's exposed and they land weird. They land somewhere that they're not supposed to and, and their body's not ready to deal with it and stuff like that. So really it, it is a lot of that aspect as well, is just being instinctively prepared and, and ready to handle that kind of stuff that goes on, you know, and, and I think people have to understand that, you know, being more agile, right, being able to turn quicker, being able to turn and react, and do your, have your body being more efficient at doing it also makes a big difference in how you're exposed. So you see some kids that go to stop suddenly on their skates, and their bounce goes off, and their arms go up, well, if they get hit like that, yeah. it's going to hurt a lot gone. more. Whereas if they can hit hard, stop hard, and turn, and they're compact, even if they get hit, they're braced. You know what I mean? They're ready to handle it and stuff like that. So you know, how they turn, how they react, and that's why a lot of the training we work on, the conditioning, we work on agility drills, we work on that kind of function so that they get tighter, crisper, and more efficient, and always in that athletic stance, and always ready to, you know, to, to activate and, and deal with things. So it makes a big difference. Yeah, and yeah, it's kind of like in uh, martial arts. I mean, like one of the first things you learn is how to fall. Because you know you're going to take a fall every once in a while. Odds are you're going to fall. But, you know, if you can fall safely and effectively, you're not going to get hurt, right? If you fall badly, yeah, you're going to break something. I mean, um, uh, another old adage from a football coach that I always remember: if you can't go 100% and give it an all-out effort, you're going to get hurt. Every time you're going 100%, you're going to be fine because you're giving it your all. Your body's maintained and ready to go. And then when you slack off, 
like in third quarter when you're deconditioning your tire, third inning. That's when you get hurt Very because right. your body is not ready for that that engagement. That's right. And you know you're kind of floating through the motions and you're nice and soft, and then all of a sudden, bam! Yeah. You're on the ground. You're holding your ankle. You're holding your shoulder. You're back. And you see that. You see when the kids get tired, especially like I was saying, third inning. I said third period, wrong score. Uh, sorry, third period, not third inning. You see, <laughs> they're tired and they slump and they don't, they don't have that athletic stance anymore, right? Because what happens is now their body is just spent and they're just trying to deal with getting forward. They're, they're, not, they're not ready, they're compromised. And it's when they're in a state of compromise that if anything happens, it's going to be much, much worse overall. So again, fitter, tougher, more athletic. You're going to see a big difference in the uh, less frequency of injuries, I guess is one way to put it, you know, English. And when language. they do get it, and when they do get injured, they're going to recover much faster, much faster overall. So excellent. Myth number five. Busted. Excellent. We're going to find a couple more and come back to you guys. Smash it. Awesome.